Hello, this is Alex, and today we'll, we will be drawing a robot. I think that for this drawing, since we will be doing a humanoid robot, there are various types, but I want to draw a humanoid robot. We're going to turn the paper vertically. So, right about in the center, we're going to draw a vertical rectangle. So the lines will be taller on the left and right, and a little shorter on the top and bottom. Like that. Then, coming outward from almost the center, we're going to curve the line. It's going to curve outward. We're going to mirror that on the other side. Going to make those a little longer. Then we're going to do that again, but outward. Just going to make some legs. Like that. Make that a little longer. We're going to do two more rectangles at the bottom, but these are going to be horizontal instead of vertical. So I'm going to start with two lines, and then I'm going to connect the legs. Then I can do the lines. Coming down from there. And then, the lines in the bottom. Now on the legs, we're going to put horizontal lines. Like that, those are going to give some sections to them. You can just add as many as you want, but don't make them too close together. There. Now what we did with the legs, we're going to do something similar. But they're going to start here and here. So a line curving down like that. On either side. Then we're going to do another one on the inside. Like that. And like that. And later we'll add more of the lines like we did on the legs. But next, we're going to add another line. It's going to be pointing inward toward the arm, and then another one coming out, like that. We're going to do that on both sides. Okay, now we're going to make almost um, a hexagon shape. It's going to be coming down, like that, but don't connect the other end. A nice angle on this, but you want another line coming inward on both sides, like that. So that's when you make a point. It's a little hard to explain, but I'll do my best. And then those lines we're going to connect with one line, which is going to make a clampy claw. Okay, so we're going to do another rectangle like the feet, but here for a head. And we're going to put just a little bit of space between the body and the head. So just a rectangle like that. And a little bit in from the side, we're going to do a line. Another one that's going to be a little look. And either side of the head, we're going to add another rectangle. This one's going to be connected. Almost a C shape with no curves. So I don't know, just like what I did there, but on both sides. Okay, and we're going to have some lines coming up. Right up in the middle of that rectangle, they're going to come up like that. So there'll be some antennae, but they also are kind of act as robotic ears. On the ends of these lines, we're going to, going to put a bulb. That'll make it look like an antenna. Like that. Okay. On the face, we're going to add, on the left and right sides, some horizontal rectangles. Like that. And like that. And I think I'm going to darken these lines to give this robot a little more depth. Like that. 
inside. We can put some pupils, and these don't have to be too robotic looking. And we can give them almost forgot. We're going to put lines, like on legs, on his arms. And if you curve them just a little bit, it'll add depth and make his arms look like they're round. Just a little bit of a curve. There. And on his torso, you can add some decorations. I'm going to add a circle right here and a straightened out C shape, kind of like this one. On top, I'm going to do five of them, kind of like on each point of a pentagon, like that. And you make a curved line in between, in between each of them, it'll look kind of like a gear. And for his battery, to make sure that everyone knows if he's getting low, I'm going to add panel. Right here. There. I like that. That should be all. But you can feel free to decorate as you wish. You can also shade in some of the areas where you think a shadow might be. Under its neck. And under his legs and arms. Just about like that. Good.